next we will talk about the measure of fit of the multiple regression models. So in the simple linear regression models, we can use the R squared to represent whether the estimators are fit to the population or not. Well, we can still use the R square in multiple regression, but that is problematic because if we use R square, they may bias towards the more regression. That means if you have more regressors, for example, you just you you don't just have x one, you have x two, x three, or up to x k. The more the regressors you add, the higher the R square. So this may this may give you some wrong thinking that adding more regressor can make your model become better and better so um, I'm going to prove it why so this is the definition of definition of R square or this is also equal to 1 minus SSR derived by TSS so what is SSR? SSR is the square of the residual Okay, mathematically, this is equal to yi minus beta 0 hat minus beta 1 hat x1 i. So, say we have two regressors only. So, I'm going to show you that with one more regressor, the R square is automatically greater than only one cases. I mean the R square is automatically greater. So in OLS, we are going to select the B0, B1, and B2 to minimize the error term. Right, we are choosing B0, B1, and B2 in order to minimize this square of the residue. So it is it should be smaller or at least equal smaller than or equal to this cases so this is the replicate of the single variable regressions I put the b2 here to be zero that means actually the right hand side is simple linear regression equation while the left hand side is multiple one as you can see the multiple one you need to minus some terms therefore the residue should be smaller or at least equal to the simple linear regressions okay so the, here proves that the SSR for the multiple regression is smaller on the, so at the same time small SSR means one minus a smaller thing the R square will be greater for much more for, for a more regressor case. So in order to solve this problem, we have another R square to rectify the, this problem, and we call this adjusted R square. We put it upper bar there. The definition of adjusted R square is one minus n minus one divided by n minus k minus one times the SSR divided by TSS. So here, K stands for the number of regressor minus 1. So for example, in simple regression model, Yi equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 Xi plus Ui. How many regressors are there? There are only one regressor. So if we want to calculate the adjusted R square, this is 1 minus a minus 1 and the denominator k is the number of regressor minus 1 in simple linear regression we have one regressor so k is equal to 0 minus 1 times SSR divided by TSS as you, as you can see this can be cancelled because both numerator and denominator are a minus 1 so this is exactly equal to the original R square it is reasonable because the uh, just the R square is to solve the problem of multiple regressions. So let's take a look of the another example. Y i equal to beta zero plus beta one x one i plus beta two x two i plus up to beta ten x ten i. Then the adjusted R square is what minus 
n minus 1 n is the number of sample so the denominator is n minus 9 minus 1 times SSR derived by TSS as you can see the denominator with more regressor this will become smaller the smaller the denominator the larger the value so the adjusted R square can solve the problem that with more regressor smaller SSR in the numerator you cooperate with the smaller denominator so this can solve the solve the increase in the R square problem by the multiple regressions okay so here it shows that adjusted R square can better reflect whether the OLS estimator is better fit or not so finally let's talk about the OLS assumptions under multiple regressions for the third for the first three assumptions they are the, they are more or less the same the expected value of the error term given the x is zero secondly the x all the x and y are iid third one the large outliers are unlikely so these are just similar to the OLS assumptions in the simple regression case the last assumption is that there are no perfect multicollinearities. So the definition of multicollinearities is that the regressors are highly correlated. For example, you are given this regression model. So we need to assume that x1i and x2i are not perfectly correlated. So if x1i and x2i are perfectly correlated, we will have some problem. Say, if we want to do this, the weight is equal to beta 0 hertz plus beta 1 hertz. The regress at the height with the unit cm plus beta 2 hertz again times the height with the unit m plus ui. No, no UI. So you can see that, okay, what is the meaning of beta 1 hertz here? So in the past, beta 1 hertz is the change in the value of y with respect to change in the value of x1 only, holding x2 constant. But you can see that, okay, in this case, height in the cm and height in the m are perfectly correlated. If your height increased by 100 cm, your height in your meter will increase by 1. Therefore, it is ridiculous to say that beta 1 means that, okay, the change in the weight if your height in cm increased while the height in the m constant. So this is ridiculous, right? Therefore, we need to assume that the x1i and x2i should not be perfectly correlated. So another example is that the wage is equal to beta 0 hertz plus beta 1 hertz times a dummy variable male plus beta 2 hertz times a dummy variable female. So in this case, if this male, this variable is 1, female 0, but here, if this male 0, but female 1, again you can see that male is 1 minus female so this means that when the female variable increase from 0 to 1 this will decrease from 1 to 0 again they are perfectly correlated there are only two genders in the row there are no middle one right so as a result male and female are perfectly correlated we cannot allow this case to happen and we have a special name for the second example. We call this dummy variable trap. So this is a special special case for multicollinearities. The variables are the dummy. So if the dummy variable variable are called perfectly correlated, we call this dummy variable trap. So what are the solution to deal with this perfect multicollinearities? So we can either drop 
one regressor. So you should drop any one reg regressor in the equation. Say you drop this one, or you drop this one. Either one is okay. So in this, in the second example, you can drop the female variable, or you can drop the male variables. Then you can ensure in the equation there are no perfect multicollinearities.